Okay, so we're going to make a poster portrait. You can take an image of somebody and you're going to put words over them. It can be a lyric. It can be a, a quote from someone famous. It can be just about anything. And we have all different subject matter. We have, you know, uh, a lot of different famous people. Biggie Smalls, Bob Marley. You know, we have J. Cole, Julia Roberts. Um, really clear images, too, sometimes. It's really nice if you pick one. Harry Potter. We got Paul Walker. Other people, Michael Jordan, right? And um, there's really no right or wrong here on who you want to choose. I chose myself, and I'm going to do an image, and I'm going to do a quote from Pope John Paul, all right, uh, over me. And so here's the first thing you're going to do, is you get an image, and you crop it really, really close. Now, next thing you do is you're going to remove the background. You're going to love this. You can remove the background so easily now. Now, originally, when an image comes into Photoshop, it's got a lock on it, okay? Watch this, the new versions, you could take the lock right off in the new version of Photoshop 23, 24. In this layer, you can get rid of the background too without doing anything, watch this. You're gonna go to Window, Properties. And then you're gonna go to Remove Background guys it makes a mask and it just literally deletes your background you're welcome there it is gone if it doesn't delete everything god forbid you can uh highlight everything with the lasso tools or the magic wand and delete it accordingly all right now that we've got ourselves in an image we're going to click on us and we are going to hit Control shift u shift Control u and you desaturate the layer and make yourself black and white now you're going to create a new layer underneath this. So you're going to create a new layer, drag it underneath. Make sure that this part right here is black. You are going to now hit, a, you're going to fill this layer. So click here and hold Alt Delete. And now you have it with a black behind it. All right, this is, uh, you're now going to create a composite layer. It's going to compi compile both of this layer and the bottom layer. Here's how that's done. Click on your top main layer, and you're going to hold Control, Shift, or an Alt. Control, Shift, Alt with your left hand, and the letter E with your right hand. What that did is it just duplicated everything into one layer. All right. Now, with that said, we're going to save this as a displacement, it's called. You're going to go to File, Save As. You know where I want you to save this. I want you to save it in your graphic design folder. I'm going to save it on my desktop because I'm home today. This is on the weekend that I'm doing this for you guys. All right. I'm going to call this displacement. And um, displacement, I will save it to my desktop in this case. You will save it in your graphic design folder in the poster portrait. I am now going to hit save on my desktop. I know it's called displacement. Yes, I'll hit OK. Now that it is saved, we are going to darken, I'm going to name this layer, Displacement. In the Displacement layer, Control L, I want to darken it. Lower the output levels to about 113 to 115, something around, between 110 and 115. I'm going to go to 113, boom, I love it. All right, that's cool. Now, next order of business. I am going to put a text layer above uh, the displacement layer for now. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to click on the T for text. And I'm going to, before, I'm going to stretch out all the way across this. Now, um, you're going to see that there will be text written over here. You're not going to see it. It comes pre-slugged. It's Laurel Epson stuff. The reason you can't see it is because if you flip this, it's now white. Here is your text. We're going to replace this text. I'm not going to put the Laurel Epson text. I'll put like a, a real legit like quote that I want to put. So what do we do? I'm going to go to the internet and I'm going to find a quote. Give me a second. As I said, give me a second. I want to replace this quote up here. So what I'll do is I'll highlight this and I'm going to go to the internet. And I found a cool quote by Pope John Paul II, whom I love. Uh, I plead with you, never ever give up on hope, never doubt, never tire, and never become discouraged, be not afraid. I'm going to copy that. Love it. I can live by that. I'm going to control V and paste it in. Now, check it out. I've highlighted my text. Let's move this thing out the way. I have it centered, and I'm okay with the size of the text. 
you can obviously change the size right up here and all that other stuff for now I'm gonna keep it exactly as it is I'm gonna hit control V and I'm pasting down all of my text okay um, one sec I actually don't want it to be um, exactly staggered like I want it to be like staggered so I'll hit control V um, let me see if I can get this right over here so I don't want it I want it more staggered you know so all right I'm okay with that fine you want to play games let's hit control V control V let's go to the very end and hit control V go to the end hit control V try to make sure that your text is staggered like don't uh, don't don't do it up uh, like where it's gonna be in other words if I keep hitting this see how the word never 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 is like that you really don't want that over your body so you want to get rid of that all right so just make sure you're staggering this all right it can be there twice just maybe twice but then just make sure that you have it a little bit off because if the words are not good that's not gonna it's not gonna work all right this is okay I'm gonna highlight this I'm gonna hit control C now I can hit control V good control V good control V and control V this is good now the word be not afraid I plead with you never give on give up on hope never tire never become um, discouraged I love that all right now it's good next thing we need to do next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this text that's over my face I'm gonna make sure that it covers the contour lines of my face and like molds to the shape of my face here's how you do that that's why you just you save that displacement file you're gonna click on the text layer it's gonna automatically you know changes to the words that there is but you're gonna to go to filter displace okay um, before we do that hold up because I displaced it before you're gonna to go to filter distort displace all right filter distort displace you're gonna hit rasterize layer make sure that the horizontal scale is five the vertical scale is five stretch to fit repeat edge pixels hit OK you're now gonna have to choose the file which in this case is displacement this is where you make sure your files are saved in the right spot hit OK boom you saw that little shift okay now that it's done that there it goes now next thing we need to do is we need to make this an overlay so on this layer right here you're gonna come on to this and you're gonna go to overlay right here boom now now that you have it an overlay in this layer right here you're gonna go to the adjustments layer go to gradient and just hit OK it's all good don't worry about it just hit OK now after you've made it a gradient you're gonna come into here into the mode and you're gonna go to color now here's where you get to have fun this is the cusp of victory guys you're gonna click double click on that um, gradient fill in there you're gonna click into here now let me just show you something because the new version of Photoshop this is where file management all comes into play uh, Photoshop actually takes advantage of doing the right thing with file management they put everything in folders like I preach to you guys you can click on these now and now you have all these different um, versions of colors you can choose so you have blues purples right that one's pretty tough right all of these are different versions of the color that you can choose on all right so now we have purple pinks reds the pinks boom boom there's no right or wrong you can choose anything you want you get to kind of go crazy in here with this you know the purples I am a big fan of you know I like the purple ones um, I had to say something I would just stay with that one. and I would hit OK and now boom there you have it and that is done the same way that these were okay
and you can now see exactly how that process is done and you can create your own poster portrait of anyone all right so have fun with this go crazy the next project that we're going to do is the line drawing changing an image from a regular image into a drawing okay thank you